Good morning. I'm uh, figure I'll make another video about human nature and civilization, and holistic home office, and uh, you know I think that uh, healing sexual misconduct and sexual disorders is a really important part of human nature. You know. Uh, being healthy, you know, the first thing you got to do in, in your to be a build a successful home office is take good care of yourself, and uh, your sexuality is an important part of yourself, and um, getting control of your sexual sexuality is you know your unruly passion is an important part of freedom. You know, uh, the difference between wild and free is the rule of law, you know. The divine law of marriage is, will never change. You know, it just, it is what it is. It's, it's made by God. It's not a man-made anything. It's, it's just part of nature. It's just, that law is just as real and constant as the law of gravity or the speed of light. I mean, it, it's just part of human nature, you know, and men and women get married and have kids and families grow from that. And families and civilization grows from families, you know, it's like cause and effect. You know, spirituality is the cause of families and and families are the cause of civilization. And that's been like that forever and always will be like that. You know, I just say that I've said that the, the God, you know, religion and God and everything will last as long as the civilization founded by Baha'u'llah will last for as long as there's life on earth. And I got to thinking, you know, it's, it's going to last forever, from now on, forever. Even if the, when the earth ends millions of years from now, five million years from now, the sun burns out or whatever, five billion years ago, the human race probably by then will have, you know, been able to migrate to other planets and other solar systems. And so, you know, the, the civilization, I, I figure the life on these planets, you know, the life in the universe is pretty common. There's a trillions and trillions of stars and galaxies and each one of them stars has planets on them and even if a small fraction of them have life on her you know then you know a small fraction are going to have civilization and all that the whole story you know it, it's there's going to be there's got to be millions of civilizations i totally agree with that and there and and it's all, and there's only one God. You know, the one thing we know about any aliens is they have the same God we do. You know, because there's only one God and he created the universe and everything in the universe. And, but family values is uh, t taking care of your wife and your spouse, you know, your husband is really super important. They're your best friend, you know, and take care of your kids. You know, those kids grow up in the womb and they the, the, they sense the presence of the, both parents. And that's very important. It forms, you know, it's a very important part of the development of the personality of the child. And that continues even after they're born. The parents are there teaching the kids. And... Um, that that the family grows you know it grows it's uh ongoing and uh it will uh continue to grow and uh civilization will continue to grow because of that that you know it's like civilization is causes you know family causes civilization spirituality religion causes civil families you know, it's all based on families, you know, Abraham and Noah and all those guys and their kids, you know, and their stories about that, that what they're experiencing in life and their teaching of the word of God and all that down through ages and ages of history and how civilization, you know, the religion happens, you know, the stories in the Bible and all that. 
and other books like the Quran tell about what happened and people telling those stories and that's civilization is based on those stories and it continues it's an ongoing story it's a never-ending conversation that God is having with his his uh, creation and uh, the uh, you know obeying the laws of freedom is uh, very uh, you know obey, submission to God is the very nature of freedom and so that submission to God you know it's got to be voluntary you know you don't want to be forcing anybody to believe anything or do anything or say anything. Not even God knows that. You know, Baha'u'llah says if you'd have float, came down floating on a cloud out of the sky, nobody would have a choice but whether to believe or not, you know. And he didn't come here to harm anyone, you know. Uh, he, he was born just like any other human being, and he lived his life. His ministry lasted 40 years, and he taught the Word of God for 40 years, and he passed on to the Abha kingdom, and he's alive and well right there ruling he's the king of the kingdom of god he's the manifestation of god you know the the promised one of every religion every religion talks about Mahala. and um he founded this new civilization that's going to last forever and one of the first rules of law is that men and women get married and have kids and that's the only healthy you know natural moral context for human sexuality it's a difference the difference between an animal you know animals they have sex with anybody they want to and it's that's natural for them okay that's the animal kingdom the human kingdom is separate and distinct from the animal kingdom and the, the you know one of the differences you know for one thing men and women have sex face to face you know, which is very unusual. You know, I'm not saying we're the only creatures that do that, but most animals don't do that. And uh, we uh, speak. Language is a very distinctive feature of human nature. Uh, you know, it, it, that's, language is a set of rules. We follow certain rules and we learn these rules. This is very, deep, you know, this isn't a man-made thing. It's kind of something that has evolved over millions of years where we can, we follow certain rules, we can understand each other. We all follow the same rules. That's language, that's civilization. And then uh, the, the law of marriage come in, and the, you know, about the marriage and language, those two things kind of evolve. Uh, and there's, I can tell pretty much at the same time, you know, that's all part of the Adam's, you know, story, you know. And, uh, you know, naming the plants and animals in the Garden of Eden, you know, that's language. And um, Adam and Eve, the whole story of Adam and Eve and the family growing, that's, that's the beginning of human nature. That's the beginning of human nature diverging from the animal kingdom and becoming a separate and distinct kingdom of life on earth. And um, it's... Uh, you know, and one of the distinctive features is we, we have the rule of marriage, the rule of law, and we teach and follow the rules. God makes the rules. You know, that's the one thing God does is make the rules. He makes the rules, and the universe evolves according to the rules that God makes. You know, the speed of light, the law of gravity, chemi chemistry laws, the laws of biology, psychology. There's psychology laws that are just as real and as there are as the biological laws, you know, there's mental and, you know, physical and spiritual aspects of human nature that are all, you know, it's an intricate, you know, complex, delicate machine, you know, that which is brings up the not using drugs is a good idea, you know, because using drugs, you know, distorts the chemistry the balance of, you know, the chemical recipe that our, you know, generates our human consciousness. And so, 
putting an artificial chemical in your body to alter that is just you know that's like what who would ever do that you know and I, I I used drugs for a long time when I was a kid I thank God I stopped using drugs 30 years ago and uh, I've been clean ever since then and you know I still have lots of bad habits and I've I keep getting, you know, trying to get better and improve myself every all the time. It's a kind of a never-ending process of improving myself, trying to, you know, let, leave some of my character defects behind, you know, and uh, um, you know, so just uh, keep on improving yourself. You know, uh, your spirituality is important. Your family values is important. Your sexuality is important. It's a powerful instinct. When we have the same natural instincts that animals have, the difference is we have additional to funct faculties that animals don't have, like language and, and the rule of law. You know, and, and the animals have the rule of law. Instinct, is, there's psychological laws and you know, biological laws that animals follow. The difference is, is that humans also have this like conscience, this uh, self consciousness, and self awareness, and this you know, and our submission to God is voluntary. It's not instinctual. You know, we have instinct in common with the animal kingdom, but we regulate that those instincts and emotions. Emotion means motive, you know, it's those feelings, that's our motives, is our feelings, is our motives. But we regulate our response to those motives with our spirituality, which is our seeking God and submission to God. You know, our voluntary submission to God, that's a voluntary action, it's a voluntary attitude and action. and. That is what civilized human beings do. You know, that's how the difference between a wild animal and a civilized human being. That's the difference between wild and free. You know, the wilderness is not, you know, that's natural. It's not a bad, necessarily a bad thing. But human beings, are we're terraforming the earth from a wilderness into a beautiful garden. And... And that's what we're supposed to do, you know, God says, you know. And it's not just God says, it's just, you know, he, we're evolving. Baha'u'llah founded a global civilization in the 1800s, you know, the 19th century of Christianity. You know, they created, he revealed a whole new revelation of the Word of God. And there's a whole, whole new universal and divine civilization evolving on this planet right now it's been evolving for like 170 some years now and it's 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 one universal and divine civilization you know we have the united nations we have the internet we have jet planes you know that's, that's never existed before where people could just travel around the world and we've had it for quite a while now this is, you know, we're getting away, and the, now the internet is the kind of like the latest thing, and I can have a conversation. I have had many conversations with people from Pakistan and India and places all over the world, you know, and it's amazing. You know, we have meetings. You know, I don't even have to leave my house to go to a meeting in these days, you know, with the and it's cool. I like it, you know. And our cities, we these twenty first century pueblos we have built all over the world is amazing. It's a good thing. And so, thanks for listening. And uh, keep coming back and listening to these stories and reading the stories and keep improving yourself. And uh, I'll keep telling stories. Thanks. Bye.